You have no idea what I'm capable of, Sekhmet. After the battle at Olympus, the gods have begun to pick up the pieces and move forward toward a brighter tomorrow. Everyone except for Sekhmet, that is. Bearing the guilt of her sister's death, she has decided to travel into Death's Grip to, and save Bastet. With the help of some unlikely gods, Sekhmet will journey into Sheol, a land lorded over by the Beast. He has never let anyone who has received his marks return from death, but Sekhmet has never been the type to take no for an answer. The only question is, how far is she willing to go to redeem her sister? Yeah, another week without um, any books on the shelf. Uh, this will last probably a little longer. Um, this is my last video in this house and then I'll get to the new house and I'll have empty bookshelves again because it'll take me some time to actually like, you know, unpack the books. So <laughs> sorry for the slightly depressing background. <sighs> Anyways, uh, this week is Sekhmet and the Curse, which is book two of War Affair of the Gods. The first one being The Writer and the Throne, um, which I reviewed a couple months ago, I think. Mm, I don't remember. Um, uh, okay, so this book follows Sekhmet after the war uh, depicted in the first book ends, as she goes to the, well, um, realm of the dead to try and save her sister. Uh, it's a long, complicated process to get there, and once there, she has to sort of overcome some obstacles that I didn't expect. Uh, and trying to save her sister, who is waiting in purgatory, uh, you know, it's it's a little complicated. Um, so this book, I think, does a decent job of continuing the story that we see in book one. It focuses primarily, well actually no, it focuses only on Sekhmet. Uh, it is only her perspective that we see instead of multiple different perspectives from multiple different gods, and um, we get to be inside her head, which I think was a very good choice. I liked it. Um, I will say Sekhmet's characterization does pretty well holding up from book one where we see what well, we, we don't see inside her head in book one at all but we see we know about her we see what she does what she talks about that sort of a thing and um, I think book two does uh, very well at sort of continuing that characterization and explaining her motives and how she feels and that sort of a thing. Um, this book deals a lot with her emotions and sort of inner turmoil. It somewhat mirrors the external conflict that's going on outside um, and the task that she has to accomplish. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't mirror it exactly, which I think is fine. Um, I will say Sekhmet's character development kind of stops halfway through this book. Um, once we start learning about how her emotions are functioning, how she's thinking, her goals for the future, that sort of a thing, um, we even get to the point where she could have like a serious emotional breakthrough and sort of change her perspective on things, and she doesn't. It just kind of, oh no, I feel like this and it sucks, but I don't, I'm not going to do anything about it because I don't know how. And uh, there are all a bunch of people around her saying, oh yes, here's ways that you could move forward or move past this or that sort of thing. And she's just, eh, well, she doesn't. Which, okay, for mirroring real life, that is pretty accurate. But when we're reading a dramatic text like this, ah, I kind of want to see a little bit more. I kind of want to see Sekhmet like pushing herself emotionally instead of just physically and reacting to the situations around her. I, I want to see her trying to push through this and figuring out, okay, why do I feel this way? What can I do about it? Um, that sort of a thing. And it, it does a little, this book does a little bit of that, but not a huge amount. And I think that is pretty much my biggest critique because once we get to that point, the whole end of the book, I feel like, is a result of that. And my battery's about to die, so I'd better talk quick. Uh, the whole end of the book is kind of a result of that, and I think it it could be different. And I get it. The end of the book is very dramatic. It's very important for the continuation of the series. It makes perfect sense. But it also could have been avoided, or at least altered a little bit, um, providing a little bit more development instead of just stagnation. Now, to be fair, I think this is a good book. I think the rest of the series will probably um, expand on this and do pretty well with that. But it was eh, a little stuck. 
uh, in far, as far as character development goes. Um, my only other real critique for this book is that it needs another edit. There are several errors. Um, that can be easily fixed though, so, you know, a new version will be put up, I'm sure, at some point, which will go through that. Um, yeah, it's, I like it though, I think it was a, a good continuation of the series and I'm interested to see what happens next. Um, so if you are interested in this book, as usual, all of the links are in the description box below. You can find them there. Uh, you can find my, my, my links there too. You can reach me whenever time. Don't expect book reviews for the next couple of weeks or though, so, because I will actually be, like, actually moving. I'm very excited about this. I'm really ready to move and get my books back. Um, anyways, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you have a great day. Go cause some trouble, go read a book, and I shall see you next time. Bye.